Uh, my next guest says uh, you, see, you can't blame Republicans for this. For one thing, not a single Republican voted for it. For another, uh, Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert said that uh, Republicans were arguing math when they were cooking this up, that you can't promise the sun, the moon, and the health care stars and not expect to have to pay more for that. That is what is happening, Congressman Gohmert. Very good to have you. Always good to talk to you, Neil. But the secret of all of this goes back to a video of Barack Obama saying, look, I want socialized medicine. Single payer is not a fair description, though, actually. It's, it's socialized, government, totally run health care. I want to get there. It, we can't get there in one, in one step. And so this was the step. And, and you had clues all along way, they knew that this was kind of cost a fortune, that things were going to skyrocket, and they anticipated someday they would get to this point and tell the American people, well, we gave the insurance companies a chance, and now the government just needs to take it over. And they were even planning that, you know they were, because when the website didn't work, they rolled out their first plan, and that was blame the insurance companies. Oh, Fortunately, no, 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 wait, 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 American wait, wait, people. I'm going to go ahead, yeah. Congressman, and give them the benefit of the doubt on this. And I no, probably no, no, uh, you can't do that. They out, were, that they were counting on more young people signing up, and and that kind of prejudice they knew sticks this today. Would fail. Hear me out, though, sir. That by by okay. arguing for more young people signing up and then expressing shock, but more didn't. Look how they reframe the argument today. I want you to react oh, yeah. to this. Josh Ernest at the White House uh, saying that there's a better opportunity for young Americans uh, who are opting to pay a penalty uh, than sign up for a high premium insurance plan. I want you to listen to this. The penalty that is imposed for people who don't sign up for health care is quite significant. Uh, this year it's uh, about $700, about $700. And I think our argument is pretty simple, which is, why would you pay $700 to Uncle Sam when you don't need to? Now, normally, they're all for people paying money to Uncle Sam. But leaving that aside, that uh, the flip side of this, make lemonade out of the lemons you're dealt by trying to say, you might as well sign up for this thing, high premiums and all, because it sure beats paying a penalty to the government. But a lot of young people, Congressman, as you're aware of, shrewdly realize they're going to be paying much more than that $700 just for the pleasure of having this. That's exactly right. You're exactly right, Neil. In fact, I've talked to a, a people who are shocked to find out, gee, they're going to pay. I've, I've been hearing a lot of nine hundred dollars in penalties they're making thirty thousand or less and then they look even with a subsidy that the government is paying them uh some have told me they were going to be paying around fourteen fifteen hundred dollars a year and that was with five six seven eight thousand dollar uh deductible they don't have that money and what these bright young people are shocked to find out is Gee, if I pay 1500 for the year, I'm not, I don't have $6,000. I'll never pay That's the exactly deductible. Right. So they're rolling so the dice. And you and I know I'm when you're young, paying you the tax. In, indestructible, and God bless them. They're being they, shocked. They, 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 yeah. don't, they, they don't want it. Uh, Congressman, thank you very, very much. Louis Gohmert. Uh, it's not uh, worth it to them. Fast-moving right. developments. We're watching this. Thank you, Congressman.